you are awesome, and you're back. I'm Dan. This is Mandy. And you are watching Buzz Chomp. Woo, yeah, you go. Woo, woo, woo. yeah. Enjoy. The Deuce Reaction. The Deuce. Who dies first? Who's going to die first on The Deuce? We're reaching the midway point of this season, and it's pretty much like a conflict-free zone in that every little drama conflict that arises gets really much wrapped up rather quickly and everyone likes one another and everyone's hunky-dory and no one's really coming after each other. There is no us versus them. There is no two sides. We're at a tipping point here for the deuce, guys. We're at a tipping point. We've seen three episodes coming up on the fourth, halfway there. Something's got to happen. We think someone's got to die. Who dies first, guys? Now, this is very much like The Wire in that you like people on all of the groups in the show. And all of the groups in the show overlap. That's great. Except in The Wire, it was very clear who was against one another. Now, I don't know if that was true early on. Therefore... We must give the deuce the benefit of the doubt because it's developing very much like the wire develops. There's the pimps and hoes, there's the mob, there's the cops, there's the kids of all of these characters. Don't forget the children. And then there is the porn industry, which I guess would be Frankie, Vinny, Candy, which has yet to truly develop. What if Frankie dies? Frankie dying first would be like a bold, bold move. Killing Frankie off first spurns, like, huge, huge conflict for Vinny. Especially if, say, it has to do with the mob or a mob-related. Because we know Frankie has debts to everyone. He's brazen. I mean, come on. He, like, did the whole thing with the machines and then the Irish mob got involved and those guys and all that. He's just... He doesn't think first. So him dying, we wouldn't be surprised, right? Because he does stupid things. But it would be a super, super bold move because they kind of like touted the show and they... Now Mandy touched on the fact that it'd be awesome if Frankie dies. I will second that, but it's extremely unlikely. In the realm of possibility, because I don't see the show killing off one of its main characters season one. The Wire never did it. We don't... We don't really know the relationships between these people quite yet. In theory, though, it's got to end up being like someone on the outside, someone not as important. It could be one of the prostitutes. We love Darlene, okay? We love Darlene. They kind of made off this past episode that like maybe something was going to go on with her pimp and she kept being spared. Now, I'd be sad if she died because I really like her. She seems smart. She's getting involved in the movies. She always goes to a bar and she's reading a book. That's interesting. A prostitute reading a book. You wouldn't think that. She just, she likes the movies and she likes like good movies. It doesn't, there's just a lot there to her. I feel like if she would die, it would create a lot of conflict for the show and as a viewer I'd be super sad but I'd be invested I'd be hooked I'd be like why do they kill her off like what's gonna happen how's her pimp gonna get restitution or if her pimp kills her ooh, that would be crazy too there are a few semi-prominent characters that are more or less ancillary that could die but there's also a good chance that someone in the mob gets it, which causes a mob war, which will suck the cops in, push out the pimps and hoes, and where do they go? They turn to porn. Where does Vinny go when he gets booted from his bar because of the mob war? He goes to porn. With going where the show is going, it could be somebody like Ashley. Ashley is Cece's old girl. We saw her first episode, they were like, seemed like they were boyfriend, girlfriend too, and then this new girl comes along and Cece's kind of kicked Ashley to the curb. We didn't even really see her this past episode. Cece cut her when she didn't want to go out in the rain. I mean, I don't blame you, girl. I don't blame you. But something could happen to her. It might not even be Cece that kicks her to the curb by killing her, but it could be somebody else out there. 
then that would drive the cops in, guys. Drive the cops in would drive the conflict up. We learned that the main mob guy funding Vinny is not the main mob guy, but actually a lower tiered person. His, I will call him an assistant, who was the one hustling Vinny for Frankie's money in the very beginning, could easily get it. Also, the Irish mobster who shows up at the bar and then the new uh, Michael, the new uh, bouncer who takes care of him, he could easily get it. I thought he was going to get it last episode. The fact of the matter is, very few people die in the show. Very few people get hurt. Very few people are mad at one another. They're all kind of keeping their feelings inside. Murder of a personal friend blows it wide open. If a pimp gets it, oh my God, it's going to blow the show open. If the mob starts a war, it's going to blow the show open. I don't think any of our main pimps are going to get it, but there's that surfer pimp who kind of rubs the rest of the pimps the wrong way. He could get it. And if the pimp goes down, oh, you know they're blaming their hose, but it's not the hose in which John did it. Is it the mob that did it? Oh, man, there's so much conflict that could erupt. Midway point of the season, it's got to happen. Comment below. Who will die first in the deuce? The deuce reaction. Tune back in. More from Mandy and Dan on Buzz Chuck. Subscribe. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs>